Good morning. Yes, Stacy Kleinsman, the assistant coach for Gonzaga women's basketball, actually got her collegiate coaching start here at Oregon State University. She had just hung up uh, her shoes playing WNBA ball in about the, right before the 2008-2009 season. And that's when she decided she wanted to get into coaching while well, she stumbled upon a director of basketball operations position here at Oregon State 10 years ago. I think it'll always kind of be that, oh, that's it's fun to, uh, to always go back to your first job, um, but uh, nothing compares to where I am now. Where she is now, of course, GU. Her first season here was the 2014-2015 season. In that year, the Zags had a good year. They made it to the NCAA tournament, and guess who they played in the second round? Yes, it was Oregon State with a chance to go to the Sweet 16. It just seems like everything comes full circle, you know, so I, I get my first job here and then our first NCAA tournament bid as a coaching staff at Gonzaga. We're back at Oregon State again, so uh, it just seems like everything is coming full circle and um, and it was a kind of a neat experience to come back and 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 also it was kind of neat to, get, to beat them to go to the Sweet 16 that first year too. Oddly enough, it's the same thing for Kleinsmith again as she gets ready with the Bulldogs in the same venue, in the same place that she started her collegiate coaching career. You know, the 2014-2015 season was head coach Lisa Fortier's first year with Gonzaga as well. She talked about that Oregon State win yesterday being such a momentum builder for the program. Here's more of what she had to say about that win. You know, I, I think it was a big game for us to, just to know that, give a little bit of confidence to a staff and to the next generation of Zags that, um, you know, this is what Gonzaga is, not so and so or such and such person. And so that that's I think what we took out of it the most is that we are we are a nationally relevant team, and um, we still are, and we're going to continue to be um, going in, you know down the line. If they want to repeat that success, they're going to have to slow down Oregon State's guard, Destiny Slocum. She's a player that Gonzaga recruited. She was selected to the All-Pac-12 Conference selection team. She's really good. She knows how to pass the ball, create opportunities for her teammates, and she's really one of the engines that makes Oregon State go. She's a, a great player who you go back and forth. Does she want to pass first? Does she want to score first? Does she want to pass first? Does she want to score first? Do I take away her shot? Do I take away her pass? Um, and I really don't know which she's better at. Um, so we're, I think the, the overall theme on her is containment and active pressure you know, will be helpful and I think critical to kind of slow her down as best we can. And besides Slocum, the other challenge Gonzaga will be facing in this game is the fact, well, they're basically playing a road game. Oregon State, Gill Coliseum, that's their home court. There was a lot of orange in the stands day before yesterday for the NCAA tournament. I expect the same today, Brittany and Jen.